Welcome to Threaded South. My name is Ashley and in this tutorial you will learn how to create a logo t-shirt. Now basically every single famous brand has a logo tee so think of Nike Adidas but in this tutorial I'm actually going to take it a bit further. I'm not just going to slap my logo on a design and just call it finished. Also if you want to see how I actually made this logo you can check my description box below because I will link it and I also made a YouTube short for it. But before we get started, make sure you hit that like button and subscribe if you haven't already. Without further ado, let's jump right in. The first thing you want to do is create a new document that is 12 by 16, CMYK, and 300 DPI. From here, change the fill color to an orange color and we're going to use the rectangle tool and fill the background. Rename this layer BG, short for background, and create a new layer on top. Here I will open up my 764 logo that I created from my YouTube short. Copy and bring it over into your document and paste it. Rename your layer. And change the field to the yellow color in the swatches panel. And then also give it a seven point black stroke. Now drag this layer down to duplicate it. And on this second layer, we're going to change the fill to black. And then also change the weight to 7.25 and move it over to the right. Now zoom in and we're going to use our pen tool to connect this top area. And then you can use your direct selection tool to make further adjustments. Now create a new layer and rename it gradient. Use your pen tool to cover about 75% of the logo. Now we're going to apply a gradient. Here we're going to select the yellow color and apply it and then also an orange color. Change the opacity to 0% but then change the middle color to 100% and change the degrees to 90. Now we're going to add a new layer above the gradient layer and name it checkered flag. Open up the checkered flag vector file. And we're going to copy this portion of the graphic. and we're going to paste it. Resize it. And then we're going to also apply a gradient, but go up to object, compound path and make so that it's all connected and so that we don't have individual gradients. And apply a yellow gradient. And then here I am going to shear it 
to about negative 15 degrees. and change the opacity to about 50%. And then create a new layer. And I'm gonna name this line gradient and I'm gonna use my pen tool and I'm gonna follow the path along the bottom portion of my logo. and I will apply a gradient stroke. Change the weight to 19. And for the stroke, we will select the first color to be blue. The middle color will be orange. And then the last color we will keep as yellow, but change the angle to 90 degrees. And now I'm gonna use my direct selection tool and I'm gonna make some more adjustments so that the path is a little bit more equal distance from the edge. And then also do this for the middle. Now we're gonna type out some text. For this tutorial, I will be using the winner circle. Change the size to 66 and all caps. And then change it to the light orange color with no stroke. Use your pen tool to create a dividing line on top and on bottom. And then copy it, paste in place, and place one on the bottom. Now we're gonna type out the word winners. And the size we will use is 170. And then lastly, type out circle, but we will use a blue color for this one. And we're gonna change it to a more cursive font and change the size to 100. And then of course, select all of your text and we're gonna rotate it so that it fits on the left side of our design. And you can always go in and adjust the color of your text depending on what color shirt that you're putting it on so that everything is legible. Now we're gonna create a new layer and we're gonna apply the car. So I'm just gonna copy and paste, resize it so that it fits right at the bottom. And here I'm gonna copy the shadow of the car and place it on its own layer. You will see why in my next steps. So now I'm gonna create a new layer and I'm gonna name this layer Fire. In here, open up your fire layer and you're gonna copy over the flames. And here I wanted some of the flames to be in front of the car and to be in front of the car shadow, which is why I placed the car shadow on its own layer. And then also I'm applying a shear so that it is headed more so in the angle of the car. And now here I am speeding this up. 
And as you can see here, I'm also lightening up the word circle so that it's a bit more legible. And now create a new layer and we're going to add textures. So here, open up your texture file and just copy and paste it. And here I'm just copying and pasting it some more and playing around with the transparency to get it to the point where I like it. Now, usually what I like to do is I like to take my design and actually bring it over into Photoshop. And then from there, I like to apply my textures. This is especially when I know I'm going to get it printed on a shirt or something like that. So I would just copy my design like I'm doing now. And then bring it over into Photoshop and paste it. And then I would paste over the texture. And then I would right click create clipping mask. And that is how you take your logo and make a design from it. And this is NASCAR inspired. If you like what you saw today, make sure you hit that like button and subscribe if you haven't already. Also, if you would like to grab some merch from my clothing brand, you can check out threadedsouth.com. Thanks for watching.